sponsoring these other events to keep us not aware of this. But the Catholic Church was also, uh, they're involved in, in trafficking of, of, of young people and hurting young people. And they, you know, there, there are right now uh, citizens review, citizens tribunal, uh, uh, and, and citizens arrests taking place. Uh, and, you know, they're getting heat. So we need to spread the word about this. And more importantly, just think about what's important right now, living in this, da this dangerous time. You might not think it is, but eventually you're going to come after you. You know, it, it's, it's like kind of like Germany. But anyway, we can fix Gerard this. Station. I believe that if the people come together right now, we can keep schools open, we can create green economy, we can stop war, and we can, you know, free political prisoners, put criminals where they belong, create a healthcare system, free transportation. This can all happen. 50% of our money is going towards blowing Doors people off right open. now. 50%. People that didn't pay their taxes yet, please consider giving it to a charity. You know, in a form of protest and in a form of direct action. Doors are closing. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll, there's new people on the train, so I, I'll make one more announcement. Um, I was initially talking about fracking, but more importantly, I'm talking about corruption. Next stop, about, Spring about, Garden. You know, for you know, routes 5, 25, and 43. The 60s, people the knew problem. there was problems. They were, they were more awake and aware. It, it infused the art, it infused the whole culture. And we got to create that, you know, culture of resistance, or else we're not going to survive. So, yeah. So just spread the word. Consider like documenting, becoming a citizen journalist. May 1st is May Day. Um, um, May Day is a national, is an international holiday. May 1st, it, it's a, it's a holiday. It's an acute, it's not a holiday here because our country doesn't respect workers. It's not a national holiday here. But there's a lot of people. May 1st, they're going to take the day off from work. This is an upcoming Wednesday. There's going to be a big event. In, in Union Square in New York City and probably some events in Philadelphia. Uh, we want to keep our post offices open. We want to keep Saturday, Saturday delivery. Uh, these things should not be cut. What should be cut is, is, is CEO's bonuses and paychecks and, and, and this, this, this abuse of the tax code. And the, the, you know, they're spending money owning our co Congress. There's only five, 435 members of Congress across the country. Learn who yours is. And, and come bring your people's law to him or her. And if they're not in line with it, you gotta get them out. And hopefully the law will respect our rights and the rights of Mother Earth, because our, our Earth has rights. And again, Native people knew this. Native natural resources. Yeah, we're destroying our planet, so we're, we know. Um, and we're being, there, there's, there's hardcore, like, high technology used to, to, to modify weather, so. Um, would anybody else like a flyer? And this technology, by the way, could be used for good. Um, yeah, to the Tesla 100 years ago developed this technology where we don't need to, to have meter, you know, where we pay, you know, the electric company. We can have this free energy, but we need to use it for good, not to kill each other. Um, so yeah, please spread the word because again, our television, you know, they are these industries. They're the war industry, they're the nuclear industry, they're the, you know, the fracking industry, the, the chemical industries. The, these, these industries, they're like psychopaths. If you, you know, technically they are people by the law, by the way. That was also changed. There's no word corporation in, in, our, in our constitution. It doesn't exist. So corporations are manufactured entities, but right now they're, they're by law they're considered people. But guess what, if these people were for real, they'd be psychopath. Yeah. They'd be everybody being. The prototypical psychopath. <laughs> you know, total disregard for your fellow human beings. Mm -hmm not being able to keep their word, you know, and they're controlling our, our elected so-called leaders. So, and that's just all happening because we're allowing it to. So please do what you can to take responsibility for this and for the wars. Start creating a green economy, a peace economy. The technology is out there. I'm telling you, it's being, it's being hidden from the public.
And we must have start having state banks and not the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express. It's a private bank. And this is used to fund, you know, black budget projects. And also, you know, keep keep the money uh, you know, rolling for, 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 this is not money, it's debt. They keep everybody, they keep making money by creating debt. So money equals debt. Uh, but we can create new economy, a new economy with the state bank where this stuff gets used for good things. And it, it builds, it grows, it's like investment. It's like after World War II, the New Deal, that's what, that's what happened. We created an infrastructure, we roads, schools, you know, post offices, buildings, everything. Bicycles. And now it has to be bicycles, green technology, and, and you know things that are going to make the city function. Man, I got to get off the next stop, but I have right. a website called Peace News Now. Oh, Do you mind if I put this on PeaceNewsNow.com? I, I like what you're saying. No, I mean, me too. Yeah. It seems like you have a message and you want to get it out to How people. How many viewers do you have? Not that many. Like a thousand. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, put it on, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Where can people find more? Oh, Occupy Union Square. We're in Union Square feeding people and we, we provide literature. And we're encouraging the... the peace, oh, man. Peace, peaceful occupation. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to put this on peacenewsnow.com with that guy's permission. And uh, he had lots of cool things to say. Uh, just a day on the train in Philadelphia. Today is April 27th, 2013, Saturday. And this is Independence Hall. So here's the Constitution Center. There's a federal building next to it. That's the President's old house there. And there's the First Amendment stone and beyond it, City Hall, the old uh, Independence Hall, which is on the front of the hundred dollar bill. We've got the beautiful sights of Philadelphia here. So it's a, a game-changing Saturday. <laughs>